What is up, Heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie, this is Hero War Central, and in this video, I wanna talk about the importance of fighting in manual mode. Sometimes we get a little lazy and we just wanna click auto and let the game decide our fate, but some heroes, specifically Faceless, and in my example today, Celeste, it is incredibly important to fight in manual mode. You can see this fight right here against Dondi. He has me by almost 240,000 power level, and your eyes do not deceive you. I am using double healer against his lineup. Now, why am I doing that? I don't really explain it in this video. It's a secret. Maybe if you come watch me on my live stream, you can find out why. But in this video, I want you to pay very close attention to as the fight gets close to the end, I push back the Galahad and that is a key moment in the fight. I'm not gonna say it's the reason why I won the fight, but I waited on a specific hero's ultimate for that power throw to be executed by Faceless. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Dondi, fighting Dondi, an 870K ginger lineup. All right, so no crit heroes, we don't need Helios. We don't really even need Sebastian, although versus Ching Mao couldn't hurt. I don't see any reason why we don't go something like this. Although let's just let's just keep using Celeste in here to counter this. Uh, boom. Let's keep using Celeste in here to counter the Morgan. I'm sorry, the uh, the Martha. Hopefully that enemy Ginger won't kill my Celeste. Hopefully. So the plan here is to time my Kark ult so that I'm not blinded by the enemy Ching Mao. Blinded right there. Go ahead and throw up a heal from Celeste. The blind is over. See, that's really the only status effect that I need to worry about. The only... Uh... The only armor artifact on that team is the... Uh... Uh, is the enemy Martha. We're going to speed up and then we're going to self, we're going to use Celeste self heal and then we're going to save this. There we go. Okay. So Galahad got pushed back. Now we cursed flame after Galahad gets pushed back. And we're not going to toggle Celeste again. I think I just copied Galahad. No, I copied Kark. Okay. There we go. So what, what I wanted to do there. It's worth worth discussing real quick. The hero Celeste's Cursed Flame blocks healing and does additional damage, right? Uh, this ability, you can see that the when switching to Dark Form, Celeste creates a large area of Cursed Flame in the center of the enemy team. Whenever you're dealing with a tank that's so far forward and then a healer that's so far back, I was concerned that the Dark the the cursed flame wasn't going to catch both galahad and martha and i knew that sooner or later that faceless was going to do his power throw to push galahad back right and so as soon as galahad got knocked back and they were much closer together that's when i wanted to toggle celeste back into dark form so she could block the uh, the vampirism that galahad was going to do as well as the healing that martha was going to do so that's why I kind of waited there for a second. And then after that, it was just a matter of staying in dark, in dark form until I can toggle to light form and then back to dark form. Of course, it didn't really end up mattering. I had enough uh, Kark alts that it was okay. So as you can see, maybe it wasn't necessarily a big reason why I won this fight, but it definitely played a part into how I was able to finish the fight. Now, as you know, I'm having a lot of trouble with my Kark lineup finishing off high level Marthas with Oliver's patron to them. Obviously we don't have Martha patron here, but if you are interested in how to play Hero Wars Facebook on your phone for Guild Wars, if you are in a pinch and you get caught away from your computer, you probably still wanna play in auto mode for that, but check out the video that's on screen now. If you found this video interesting or if you had some comments on the fight, please put them in the comment section down below. I love you all, good luck in Dominion.